Okay, well, a couple of jobs today. It's a beautiful, uh, fine, sunny Queensland winter's day. Not much wind around. And I've uh, come down to the boat to do a couple of jobs. Well, just to prepare for one and what I'm going to do today. Um, I've got a mate. He's given me a couple of hatches he didn't use on his boat build. Um, they're good moonlight hatches. And... I probably wouldn't have bought them and done them, but I've got a spot on the boat where I can use them. The forward cabins uh, just here under the deck, they're a little bit gloomy and uh, not much ventilation. There's a hatch in the roof, but there's not much in the side. So what I'm going to do is mount these hatches, one each side, um, right there. So I'll have a couple of hatches into that forward cabin. It, um, it should give me good flow through ventilation and uh, yeah, getting them for nothing. Just got to use them I guess. There is a spot to use them on the boat though so uh, it'll probably make those cabins a bit lighter and uh, definitely let, let a bit more breeze get through um, when you're sleeping down there in the night. So that's the project. That's what we've got on. Okay the first thing I'm going to do, I've got a light bit of ply here. I'm just going to mark out a template that I can probably screw to the front. Um, I don't want to damage my paint too much. I've just painted the boat so um, I want a template that I can screw to the front and use a jigsaw on. So what I'm going to do is just mark around the edge of um, the hatch and um, that'll give me a good template to work off. So I'll just get it pretty square first. It's looking pretty good there. Okay. Okay, so if I cut that hole, that'll give me the ideal that'll give me the ideal size to um, drop this uh, hatch in through. I'll cut that out, leave a bit round the edge, and I can screw that to the front um, as a template. Should be good. Okay, um, I'm going to cut this template out. Uh, need my drill, some drill bits, and a jigsaw. Now the jigsaw comes in a lovely little case. Actually, uh, my dad made this over 30 years ago, and I've still got it. It's my dad's jigsaw, and uh, I've got to pay tribute to my dad. He taught me how to use my hands, really, and how to be sort of practical and fix things. So uh, he's not around anymore, but he left him with some really good uh, skills um, as far as being handy goes and one of the only things I've got left from dad is, uh, is jigsaw so we're going to use it this morning he used to build these little boxes to uh, to keep things in he had all these tools pretty well um, organized in little boxes like this so I've still got it on the boat and still got it in the box very proud Australian made in Australia by my dad okay well, we've got our piece of ply marked out and what I need to do, I'm going to cut round here um, and then I'm going to cut the aperture for the hatch to go in. So it's this outer line here, I'll have to cut through that. So to get that one started, what I'm going to do first is just <coughs> drill a few holes to uh, take the jigsaw blade. You could drill a bigger hole, but for me to do that, I've got to get a bigger drill out. I don't particularly want to do it. Um, so I'll just start here. I'm just going to chain drill a few holes. As long as that's the width of the hacksaw blade, that'll be enough, and we'll just join them up with the drill. Okay, that'll give me a good start for using the saw. 
just a little trick while I'm thinking about it. I'm going to do all this work uh, on the jetty here just to keep the mess off the boat. I'm going to use a lead to plug the jigsaw into. We're running off 240 volts off shore power at the moment. When I set this up, I always put tie the lead to the to the uh, the rail. Okay, and if you do that, you're not going to drop this plug into the water. If that pulls out and drops in the water, it doesn't matter because there's no power to it. But the live end of the plug is up where it can't drop into the water. Be really quite careful of 240 volts when you're working around the water and around boats. Okay, let's cut this hole. Okay, finished template. The hatch should fit in there. I'll try in a minute. I'll sand it up a bit and try in a minute. And this is nice and square around it so that I can position it in the in the uh, forward area there and cut the holes. And, I, and the idea is to run the jigsaw around on this lip so that it doesn't scratch all my paint. It'll make it nice and neat. Just check that out. Beautiful. Okay, so so that. Um, that fits on the hatch really well, just a nice, nice size cutout. Just sand it up a bit. It's only a template, so I don't have to go to too much trouble here. All right, that part of it's done. Uh, now we can take that up the front, mount it, measure it very carefully, get in the right spot, because they've got to be the same each side, of course. And then um, we'll cut the holes. A bit more mess. Okay, some decisions have to be made here. Um, we're going to mount it parallel with this brake in the foredeck probably look all right but I think I'm going to try and measure um, mount it um, levelly or, or horizontally uh, probably to the deck so what I'm going to do I'm going to measure up from the deck put a mark there and then we'll get some levels but I think they're better off being um, placed in that way so that uh, so that they open and stay open I think that just looks a bit odd to me but you could do it either way I guess Okay, here's the template I cut. So, maybe what I'd better do is put a, I'll put a centre mark on that. That's 330, so that's 250 and 15. That's 265. So that'll be, that'll be the centre of the template. And then I can centre it up in the middle of there. So, here we've got 620, so half of that is 310, so looking at about, mark there, so that'll be about the centre of that panel, now, I don't want it up too high because I don't want the hatch opening or anything, so we're going to bring it down a bit. Okay, centre, top. So that goes there. If I put a mark, I 
I'll say. I'll just mark that. What I'm just going to do is go down the cabinet and have a look, make sure I'm not obstructing anything. I'm pretty sure everything's clear there, but I'll just have a look. So these are the cabins the, um, the hatches are going to go into, and it's going to be in that wall, and I assume that it's going to be about there. So that's where I'll be cutting out. So um, looks very clear, nothing in the way here. There's no, I know there's no wires or anything under under the ply there, so um, it looks like we're pretty right to go ahead and cut a hole. I might just put a sheet down in here and try and save a bit of the mess. Okay, right all I'm gonna do is uh, put a bit of a drop sheet here. So we've got a mark there, that's about the height we want our template. Now it's a matter of taking, what I'm going to do is take the distance from the deck to that mark and that's about as level as it's going to get. So what we've got there is, uh, say 840. Eight hundred and forty there. Okay, and that'll be about where our hatch is going to go. That looks pretty good to me. Very slippery on this paint. Very slippery on this paint. So that'll be the position of our hatch there, level with the deck, then in the open position the hatch will probably come up like that, so that'll be alright. That'd be good, let, 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 let a lot of air in uh, with these bigger holes into the boat. What we've got to do now is just uh, set the pattern up, I'm going to screw it up there. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to screw this onto the... Uh, the deck side there, just with a couple of little screws. I'll keep them pretty close so that it'll be covered um, by the, the lip of the, the hatch. So um, I won't have to worry about where I put them. Um, just need to put a couple of little holes in first. Ooh. Okay, I'll put one in here first. Need to go right through, so I won't. Just drill out the glass and drill a bit of a clearance hole in here. Screw goes through there nicely. I'll just countersunk that a bit so that it doesn't uh, doesn't pick up the head of the screw when I'm using the jigsaw. I'll get it right out of the way. Okay. Now I can put that one there somewhere. I bought. I'm sure I bought it. Okay. Okay, so we'll just check that for being the right level. So that's uh, 
and that's 845 that's pretty good so we'll just do the same thing here nice and close so we don't have to worry about it too much Right through. A bit of a counter sink, and then I'll just Let's get through the glass because the screws don't like pushing their way through the glass. To put a bit of one through here too, carefully. I love the control you get out of the battery drills. They're, um, the battery drill is very controllable. The triggers are good. Okay, I'll screw that on there. set template in place just measure it up again always measure three times before you cut once they reckon let's say 844 844 pretty close for me okay so that's where our hatch will go that all looks good I'm putting them in this side here but if I put them there we use this area a bit up the front um, we're only usually walking past here so if these are open um, if the hatch is open uh, you've got plenty of room to get past it but it's not going to impinge on an area we use so that's why I'm putting them in the side here okay time to make a big hole in the boat So we 
Okay. Check this. That's all done. All we've got to do is uh, go and do it on the other side now. But anyway, uh, it works pretty well. We've got the holes cut. I've just sealed up the, the edge of the um, ply a bit with a bit of uh, two-pack. So it's just sealed it up a bit and now I'm just going to sicker the, the hatch in. So what I'm going to do is just put the hatch in where it's going to go. It goes in pretty neatly. I'm just going to mask it up a little bit so we don't get too much sicker all over the place. Trick with this is don't get it down behind the flange because you won't get your masking tape out. It's got to be next to the flange but not under it. So better off having a little bit proud than underneath the actual flange. Now I can see. bits around the corners as well a bit you can clean up but at least by doing it this way we're not going to be cleaning up heaps of sicker we can put pull it off and uh, get rid of it easily because it's messy stuff now I've got to mask up around it so we don't make too much mess with the sicker and what I'm going to do now is just um, drill some holes <laughs> I'm doing with this drill is just centering up, centering up all the holes. Put a slightly smaller one through, just get through the glass because if you try to put these uh, self tappers through the fiberglass, you can sometimes struggle. This will be the size for the self tapper, so I'm going a bit further with these. I want to go right through though. I could put a bit of tape. I could put a bit of tape on the drill to give me the depth, but I'm just being pretty careful. Okay. Get some sicker on our flange. I'm using Fix 15, which is uh, pretty good adhesive. It's good at sicker flex, I reckon and it doesn't yellow whereas a sicker does tend to yellow a bit so good bead in there You've got to put enough you don't want that much that it's squeezing out all over the place but you need enough so that we've got a good gasket there don't skimp on it on the other hand you don't want to have that much that it's too hard to clean up either because it is pretty yucky stuff this stuff thing is to get a screw in so we're not going to lose it. If you're using the battery drill on these uh, especially shorter screws just make sure you don't strip them in the wood. Take it nice and easy with them. I like to get them nearly there and then do the rest with a screwdriver because it is easy to strip them in the wood and you don't want that. See, I'm getting a nice bead of sicker out around the, the edge of the uh, flange, so we know that we know that uh, there's pretty good seal there. Uh, 
Okay. All we need to do is a bit of a clean up. Scraping tool around the edge. Get as much of it off as you can before you start using turps on it because the turps really just spreads it so get it down to being a small amount of uh, sicker as you can possibly have to deal with because when you hit it with the turps it sort of spreads it everywhere well we've got a nice ceiling there anyway I'm pretty pretty happy about that I don't think we'll have this hatch leaking which is the last thing you want Mm. See what happened there, I did let that tape get a little bit under the Flange, but anyway, that'll be all right. Just a little bit there. Okay, now we just got to clean it up a bit. So I'm just using um, mineral turps. That's the cleaned up. That won't affect my paint at all or the perspex. Never use uh, any acetone or anything around these hatches because uh, if you get it on the perspex on the top, it'll just melt it. So, turps is the only thing you can use. Just um, getting that off with a credit card. Don't use anything steel or uh, razor blade or anything on these because they're only plastic and you'll scratch them. Bit of turps, get the rest off, clean them up a bit. And that's uh, job done. Put a bit of, bit of soapy water next time I wash the boat. Good, huh? A lot of light getting in there. And they can be left open a little bit like that. Open like that, I guess. Get a lot of air through. That'll be good. Okay. Most of my jobs are finished now. I've finished the hatches. Uh, I finished the painting today. So I'm going to take the boat round to Bruce's later in the week, and we're going to attack this handrail. It's coming off, and there's a new plastic one going on. Thanks for watching guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the bell, do all those things, get our YouTube site out there to people. Thanks for having a look.